This is not a matter of civil rights. It is a matter of morality. These are eternal principles upon which the core doctrine of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ is based and are part of our Heavenly Father's great eternal plan. It's total nonsense. Legally, there is nothing to it, and they must know this. They've got a good legal team helping them out at the LDS Church. It's a lie. Uh, religions can set their own rules. If, I mean, the LDS Church could still ban African Americans from their temple. Chris Butters. Three times the Mormon Church has selected him to head up congregations as a bishop, and he's been elected a senator by his mostly Mormon supporters multiple times. Butters was first vilified for making this comment from the Utah State Senate floor. This baby is black, I'll tell you. This is a dark, ugly thing. Butters' half-hearted apology later fell on deaf ears. In the Constitution being a, a, something that was inspired of God, and the way these people are destroying the Constitution is they're saying the Constitution is a living document. That means it's a su subject to change. But truth don't change. It does not change, and, and I won't accept any of that. They want to talk about being nice. They're the meanest buggers I've ever seen. It's just like the Muslims. It's been taken over by the radical side. So many times he's mischaracterized down here, and people love to, love to hate somebody, and uh, Chris is one that they, uh, uh, they seem to like to beat up on. Obviously, they're making way too much of somebody up here speaking their mind and saying how they believe. After days of saying nothing, Mormon Senate President Michael Wadops stunned reporters at a news conference. I want the citizens of Utah to know that the Utah Senate stands behind Senator Butter's right to speak, that we stand behind him as one of our colleagues and his right to serve in this state. We think he's a stalwart. We think he's a senator that represents the point of view of many of his constituents and of many of ours. We agree with many of the things that he said, we, we stand four square behind his right to say what he feels he wants to say and needs to say. Well, they ain't gonna get one. My beloved brothers and sisters, as we walk uprightly and keep the commandments, there will be nothing in this world that can defeat us.